She's gonna be pissed if she finds out I hit the house. What happened here? <laughs> what the? God is my life, my love. That is my dream. Before I even try to back this trailer in, I'm going to take the tires out of the back of my truck. I can't see anything with the tires back here. anything Kyle I don't really care for your trailer and I hit my house nice that's always awesome see the problem is is you we have these snow banks right now and my truck is extremely long as it is and then when you put a trailer that has no tongue on it or no distance between the hitch and the axle it's so hard to back in. Now I finally got it in the driveway. It should go pretty straight. I'm a really good trailer backer upper too, but this one in this situation. She's off. I can't really believe I hit my house with the trailer. Oh well. Another thing to fix. There's no point in getting mad over it. What's done is done. So I don't have room for Kyle's trailer right now. Like even if I got my snowmobile running tomorrow, I just don't have the room for it to sit in my driveway. So I'm going to take it right back up to his place and then when I get the sled going, I'll just go ahead and drive it up. Cause YOLO. Oh, this guy's in the same predicament. Long rig, small driveway. I think I need to invest in some tow mirrors. Cause the problem is now, I have to back it in between those two trailers. And there's a water spigot right there. I almost ran into that last night. I was going forward. You can see my tires end right here. This makes it a little easier when I put the tailgate down. I got the trailer dropped off along with Kyle's hitch. He allowed me to use his because mine just sits up too tall. Kyle, I really appreciate you allowing me to use your trailer. I just wish my driveway was a little bit bigger because once I brought it up there, I backed it in first try. I don't say I'm good at something if I don't really mean it. And I can back up a trailer. Looks like you got the vehicle. That truck driver and I have a lot in common. Not only did we both have difficulties backing into each other's driveway, but we also got the job done. That's all that matters, folks. I just went to the bank to pick up some money so now I can go buy some boots. I have like four different pair of boots, but I don't have the right boots for winter. All the guys run this certain boot and I want it. It's really well insulated and I like to keep my toes nice and warm. But I also want to check under the hood of the Duramax. I just want to check the fluids. Just, just for, you know, this isn't a 2017. Kyle has just mentioned something about a head gasket and I just wanted to check my oil to make sure it wasn't white. Because when head gaskets go, the coolant goes into your crankcase and mixes with your oil and that's how you get white oil. So if you have that, that's no good. Now that we checked some fluids, now let's go boot shopping. Got some deals. Now it's time to go home, check out the skidoo. We should really call it the skidon't right now because it don't go nowhere. It doesn't do nothing. It's doing a lot of doning right now. 
So we'll clean out the garage a little bit, pull that sucker in, start tearing it apart. I think I mentioned in yesterday's vlog that I did end up buying two belts for it. The one that's gotta go on it and a spare because as you guys know, it didn't come with a spare. I wanna make sure that she's nice, tight, right, and everything in between. She was making some funky noises last night and I don't tolerate that very well at all. Perfect timing, buddy. How you doing? We got, we got a snowmobile to move. Oh yeah, I don't have much time. Oh. <laughs> Well, instead of Cole doing a favor for me, I'm actually going to do a favor for Cole. We're gonna load his snow tires in the back of my truck. I'm gonna follow him to the tire place. He's gonna get his tires exchanged. He's gonna put his winter tires on these rims. I think he's got set of tires. And then do you have to go to work? Yeah. All right. these boots for 20 minutes now and I'm already loving my investment. They were a lot of money, but man, it pays to have warm feet, especially when you're trying to live in this. I'm guessing the people that came up with the song Winter Wonderland were not from the north. They were from down south. This white stuff is not wonderful at all. It's cold. It is pretty fun though once you get the snowmobiles ripping. Rip! 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 So we're about halfway from the tire place. And the only issue I'm running into in my mind is Cole has some pretty decent tires on his car right now, and I don't know how he's gonna get those ones, once they're off the rim, back to the house. Hey, what else are brothers for? I was going to stop by a coffee shop or something and get a cinnamon roll, but there's a certain cinnamon bun thing that we get. I'm just gonna stop by and get a whole loaf of it. Take it home and start munching it down. Is that it? This looks even better. I'm gonna get this too. Now I have a thing for sweets. I think I got it from my mom's side. We just love sweets. And I know a lot of people that hate sweets. I just don't get that. I gotta have sugar in my system. It's like, yeah, no sugar. If I have no sugar, I start shaking, I'm not very productive, I gotta get all f***ed up on sugar. Let me know in the comment section below whether or not you love sweets or you hate them. This is what I mean by I can't fit a trailer in my driveway. I can't even fit my driveway right now. Oh, they even put it in a holiday bag for me, how sweet. Ha <laughs> did you get the fun there? Prince, how's it smell? Whoa, 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 whoa. My snack was delicious, but now it's time to go back to work. These are my old tires. These are the tires that were replaced by those. As you can see, this side is more worn than this side. The tire's just really old. The rubber's getting dry rotted. They're no good anymore. These are expensive tires, but they have, they've gone through hell. So I'm sorry to say, they are retired. Now saying that, my buddy Kyle D is a farmer, and if you guys ever go by farms, you see those tarps with the tires just sitting on top of the food, or whatever they call it for the cows to eat. I think he'll like these tires, so I'll just throw them in the back of my truck for now, and the next time I see him, I'll drop them off. That way he can actually put them to use. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure what they do with tires nowadays. If you guys know the answer to that, leave it in the comment section below. I'd really like to know. Uh-oh, we got another person coming in the driveway. Lincoln. She's gonna be pissed when she finds out I hit the house. What happened here? <laughs> what the <laughs> Whoa, 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 watch your odds, Mom. <laughs> you gotta fix that. Yeah, I know I do. You're not a good driver. <laughs> no, the trailer's not good at backing up, you no, know. No, you suck at driving. <laughs> whoa, you can't tell me that. You're supposed to give me positive, positive reinforcement, Mom. Oh I'm my sorry. god, this place is gonna look like a shithole before you ever leave. <laughs> what, you want me to get out of here? I'm gonna hit you over the head with this shovel. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you need to give me more than a hug. No, I, I, I will fix it, I promise you. Right. I'll fix it. I just couldn't freaking see. That pissed my mom off, I guess. I don't blame her, but she knows I can fix it. It's just when, I don't know. 